agricultural production, food production, is essential for sustaining human life. But what sustains the crops we grow? What feeds the food that feeds all of us? Well, it's our soils. It's the nutrients that are inherently in our soils, and it's the nutrients we add through fertilizer additions. So maintaining proper soil fertility, as we call it, that is the nutrient composition and balances in our soils, is absolutely essential for sustained food production and providing sustenance for humankind. Today I want to talk to you about one specific crop and one specific nutrient, and that's soybeans, which are important for human nutrition directly as a component of food products, and also indirectly as a component of livestock feed, and potassium, a nutrient that is critical for crop production and growth. Now here in Manitoba, agriculture is a very important and prominent sector, and soybeans are actually becoming an increasingly more important aspect of Manitoba's crop production, which has been great for a number of reasons, but there's a concern. Soybeans remove far more potassium from our soils than any other crop we grow. So as you've been planting more and more fields to soybeans each year, we're removing more and more potassium from our soils, and farmers are actually noticing an increase in potassium deficiency symptoms. So there's a concern that this lack of appropriate potassium fertility in our soils is actually depressing productivity and decreasing yields. What we're looking to do through my research is see if we can enhance the potassium fertility of our soils with potassium fertilizer additions, particularly looking at different rates of that fertilizer, so the amount that we're putting on, and different placements. Where is that fertilizer being placed in the soil in relation to the soybean seed? And we want to see if we can use these practices or some combination of them as a means to boost productivity and boost yields. So to determine this, we run a series of field, tr field trials. We go into our sites in the spring and we plant our soybean plots with our various fertilizer treatments. Over the course of the growing season, we take a number of both soil and plant-related measures. And then in the fall, at harvest, we collect our grain samples. With the information from these trials, we can assess the soil potassium dynamics. We can determine the influence our fertilizer additions are having on these dynamics. We can see how this translates to potassium nutrition of the soybean plants themselves. And then ultimately, and most importantly, understand how all of this contributes to soybean seed yield at the end of the season. In this way, we'll be able to optimize potassium fertility practices for Manitoba soybean producers and contribute to continued successful expansion of Manitoba soybean production. Better feeding the food that feeds all of us. Thank you.